Namaste and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you some simple yoga stretches that can be done sitting on a chair. So this is a great sequence for seniors or for anybody who finds it less accessible to sit on the floor. And it can also be great for anybody who works at a desk. Please note that if you have any injuries or some aches or pains or any health conditions or are simply new to exercising, please consult and visit a doctor before you start any new yoga routine or any new exercise routine. Great, let's get started. We're going to begin seated on a chair. So you want to make sure that the chair is nice and stable and you want to build a strong foundation. So for that, our feet are going to be nice and flat on the floor, knees over the ankles and sitting bones on the chair. So we don't want to sit too far forward or too far back, just in the center. Great, we're going to begin by warming up our shoulders to begin with. So bring your hands onto the shoulders, relax your shoulders away from the ears, and we're going to begin by drawing small circles with the elbows. So you can begin with really small circles, listening to your body. We're just starting to warm up. So slowly and gradually, maybe the circles get a little bigger. And maybe after a few rounds in this direction, you can get the elbows to touch in the front of your body, but without straining or pushing yourself. So see where you reach, listen to your own body. And stay with your breath here, stay with your body, with the sensations that you feel here. And after you've done this about 10 times in this direction, just switch over to the opposite direction. So keep breathing while you do this exercise and stay present with your breathing. If your mind starts to wander while you're practicing, just bring it back to your breath. Bring it back to the sensations that you're feeling. Great job. We're going to move on to our hands now. Right, so for this, we're going to just stretch out the arms forward and make fists with the hands and then open the fingers wide. So without straining in any way, just closing the fingers and opening, closing and opening. This just helps the blood to flow through all those little joints and reach the tips of the fingers. And we have a lot of energy centers in our palms. So this just helps to re-energize those centers. Just do that a few times. Great job. And now, just bring your arms next to you, just comfortable, um, and then start to make circles with your wrists. So making circles in one direction, warming up our wrists now, and then making circles in the opposite direction. Do that a few times. Beautiful. Now we're going to move on to warming up our spine. We'll do some cat and cow stretches. And this is also great to warm up the neck. So I'm just going to turn sideways so that you see the movement of my back. I'm going to start off sitting up nice and upright. And like I said, I'm not sitting far off at the back or forward. I'm in the center of the base of the chair. Now my hands are lying comfortably wherever they rest on the thighs or on the knees comfortably, shoulders away from the ears and I'm sitting up nice and upright. Now I'm going to begin by looping the shoulders back and down and drawing a line with my nose. So I'm keeping the neck nice and long and just think of it this way, the higher your nose goes, the lower the shoulders want to go, right? And from here, simultaneously lift the heart as you open up through the chest and tilt your pelvis. So the core or the abdominal muscles are still engaged lightly, just gently engaging the muscles of your belly, tilting the pelvis and opening up through the chest, drawing the shoulders down. With the exhale, we're going to round through the back. So loop the shoulders in, still keeping them away from the ears. Tuck the chin in slightly towards the chest and round through the upper back. Draw the belly in. Draw the ribs in together. Good. So keep going with your own breath here, taking it nice and slow. Inhaling to open up through the chest, lifting the heart, drawing that line with the nose drawing the shoulders down, tilting the pelvis, 
and exhaling to round through the back, chin towards the chest, shoulders away from the ears. Let's do that one or two times. Go at your own breath space. Inhaling to open up through the front of the body and exhaling to open and stretch the back. Great. And now we're going to move on to the next exercise. And the next exercise is a simple side stretch. So for this, please do watch first and then practice it with me because you want to be really careful here. You want your legs to be nice and stable. Your feet are going to stay on the floor throughout this exercise and your sitting bones are going to stay on the chair. Now with my right hand, I'm just grabbing onto the edge of the uh, right side of the chair and then I'm going to reach the left arm nice and high. So this is all about stretching the side of the body. All right, so I'm lifting, inhaling. And as I exhale, I'm just leaning over towards the right side. So once again, my foot is not lifting off. My sitting bone is not lifting off just in the attempt to get deeper into the stretch. It's just about a small and light stretch in the left side of the body. Again, I'm not putting all my weight into the right hand. I'm just using this hand for a little support. And then I'm going to do it to the other side. So you can join me this time. Grab a hold of the left side of the chair. Reach the right arm nice and high. Inhale, lift up. And as you exhale, drop the left shoulder. Reach the right arm overhead. So it's just a gentle stretch. Now while you're here, is your right foot still pressing down on the floor? Is your right sitting bone still on the chair? Great, let's do that one more time on each side. Right hand on the chair, make space for that hand on the right side. Reach the left arm up and lean over towards the right side. Make sure this time the left foot and left sitting bone is on the chair. Left foot on the floor, left sitting bone on the chair. And one more time on the opposite side. Reach first. So reach the fingertips high and then lean over. And come back to center. You can do this a few more times, but just for the sake of this video, I'm just demonstrating each, each exercise about a couple of times only. Great, we've done a side stretch. Now we're going to do a simple twist. Now, I'm going to show two variations of this twist. The first variation is to bring the hands onto the shoulders and just cross the forearms forward. Now relax the shoulders away from the ears. We're going to inhale to create a tall and straight spine. And as we exhale, we're going to rotate towards our right side. Inhale to come back to center. Exhale, rotate towards the left side. Inhale, come back to center. Now, a few points to note. It is not my arms that are turning to the right. It is not my head that is turning. It is my entire body from the navel up that is rotating. So if your breastbone right up to the crown of the head was a big block of cement, it would be rotating together. Okay, so you want to keep your neck in line with the spine. So another way to do this is to bring the palms to touch, the thumbs meet your sternum, the breastbone, and the tips of the index fingers meet the chin. Now this just helps to keep the neck really aligned with the spine. So I'm going to inhale, sitting up nice and upright, exhale to rotate. So I want to make sure that my sitting bones are still on the chair, feet are still on the floor and I'm just rotating from the navel up. Inhale to come back to center, exhale rotate towards the other side, keep the neck aligned with your spine. So it can be just a very small movement but you're still getting some mobility in the upper back which is what we're looking at. And go at your own breath space, every exhale will help you to twist. Great, another tip that you can use here when you're twisting or rotating on one side, for example, if I'm rotating towards the right side, I'm thinking of my rib cage, right? So my left rib cage is coming forward while my right rib cage is going back. So this will just help you to kind of orient yourself into the twist. 
Great, we've done side stretch, we've done a gentle twist, and now we're going to move on to a little more mobility for our back. So for this, I'm just going to turn this way so that you can see what my back is doing. If you have a chair with a straight back, that's great. If you have a chair which has a longer back as well, that is great. Mine has a slight arch, which is fine as well. So this time I'm bringing my tailbone right at the back and sitting against the backrest. Now I want to keep again my neck in line with my spine and what I'm going to do here, first of all, I'm just going to step my feet slightly more forward to make it nice and comfortable and I'm going to inhale to create a tall spine, shoulders away from the ears. As I exhale, I'm going to imagine or actually feel the back peeling off the back rest one bone at a time or one inch at a time. So it'll look like this, inhaling here exhaling i'm peeling the back of my head first peeling the back of my neck the upper back the mid back drawing my belly in so i'm using my abdominals for this my lower back comes off the chair and then i'm going to imagine a big ball here and i'm going to round over that ball sliding my hands down my core is engaged, so my abdominals are drawing in and I'm rounding through the back. Now I'm going to inhale here and I'm going to reverse this. So as I exhale, I'm using my abdominal muscles and then I'm bringing my lower back onto the chair, one bone at a time, mid back upper back, the back of my neck, and then the back of my head. All right, so you want to imagine that you're peeling off one bone at a time off the straight line that is behind you. And then coming back, you're doing the same. So you're peeling onto the back of the chair or the backrest, one bone at a time. Great, let's do that just once more together. Hands rest comfortably, shoulders away from the ears sitting against that backrest, neck in line with the spine. Inhale here, exhale, tuck the chin in so that the back of your head comes off the wall or that backrest, the back of your neck, upper back. Now use your abdominals to initiate this movement. Upper back, mid back, lower back, round over that imaginary beach ball that you have on top of your thighs and let your hands slide down, rounding through the upper back, drawing the belly in, the ribs in, shoulders away from the ears. Inhale here. With the exhale, start to peel back onto the backrest, starting from the lower back, the mid back. Keep the core engaged, the upper back, the back of your neck, the back of your head. Great. This is great to mobilize the spine and find that nice stretch in the back of the body while at the same time gently activating the abdominals. Now the next thing we're going to do, if you have a couple of cushions, place them on top of your thighs. You can even do this without a cushion, but th this just gives a little more support. So I'm just going to bend forward, let my arms hang and just rest my chest, my belly onto my thighs or my cushion. So if you're pretty flexible and you find this comfortable, you can do it without a cushion. But I do recommend that you keep a cushion, even maybe two, depending on how flexible your back is. If you have two cushions here, you're just going to fold over it. And this just feels great because it creates space in between both the shoulder blades and it gives your back a nice decompression. So just stay wherever you find it comfortable for yourself for a few breaths and then slowly release. Good job. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to 
sitting, sitting nice and um, tall on the chair, we're going to bring one knee to what the chest. So make sure that your spine stays nice and tall. And then we're going to release. Now I'm going to show it to you this way for the other leg. I'm just interlacing my fingers gently or just using my hands to support the leg on the shin. So I'm not putting any pressure on my knee, just the shin and just pull the leg toward the chest. Doesn't matter how close it reaches, you can be right here, that's fine as well. And then just switch over to the other side once again. And what you can also do while you're here is some ankle round. So you can make a few circles with your ankles in one direction and then in the other, just waking up the ankles as well. And do it a few times. Fantastic. So this was my little morning or anytime really sequence of some stretches, yoga stretches that you can do sitting on a chair. I hope that this was useful. Please do share this video with anybody you think could benefit from it. Do leave a comment below if you found it interesting and useful and subscribe to my channel so that you can get to see more of such videos. Have a great day.